back to another video within the Generative AI tool series and in this video we'll talk about Codestral which happens to be the first ever code model by Mr. AI. So this is kind of big, uh, this is kind of huge because uh, there have been LLMs out there but none of them have been fine-tuned on just code. So this is the first one. So here we are on the landing page and let's explore a bit more about Codestral. So a model fluent in 80 plus programming languages so it's not necessary that all the previous LLMs have done a decent job in all, all or like most of the languages. So this one's a big uh, benchmark and another benchmark. So if you've seen the previous videos on this channel, you might know we have talked about benchmarking, LLM benchmarking and, you know, leaderboards, which LLM is the best and the attributes that determine which LLM is the best. So here we have an, uh, we have a tough crowd here. So Codestral is a 22 billion parameter model with a context length of 32 K and uh, if you see the competition, and if you've seen some of the previous videos, I'm going to hook one regarding Llama 3. Uh, so we uh, went all in in terms of testing Llama 3 and how good it is. And I must say it's it's pretty, it's pretty good in terms of latency, throughput. So it's the fastest I've ever seen. In terms of uh, comp in terms of competition, of course. So cadastral tops the chart, and uh, here we have certain benchmarks. So this particular benchmark is human eval, and as you can see here, it has a particular leaderboard, and it has deep sea coder and star coder, code llama with specific uh, rankings, and deep sea coder actually tops the chart. Here we have uh, Deep Sea Coder over here and Code Llama over here in uh, different aspects, obviously. So it, it has been evaluated over multiple uh, benchmarks. So it's kind of it's kind of amazing that Codestral is actually uh, looking pretty good across the hall. So if we see another set of parameters, so Human Eval, this particular benchmark. Uh, it provides multiple benchmarks for different languages, uh, for example, Python, C++, Java. So, and so Codestral basically tops each of these benchmarks, Python, C++, Bash, Java, PHP, you name it, TypeScript. So, and the margins are, and I mean, 10% uh, with respect to Code Llama, that's, that's big. And then we have some more benchmarking and some stuff about how we can use Codestral. So you can use Codestral uh, through APIs as well, So, but you'll have to join the wait list. So if you sign into Mistral, uh, Codestral is right here. I was lucky to get an early access in the preview, uh, in the preview wait list. So in your case, if you want to sign up for, uh, and this is only specific for uh, APIs, if you want to build something out of it, if you want to use Codestral in a, like if you're building a VS Code extension or something like that, or within your specific application, um, then you can get to, uh, so you get to generate uh, API keys right here. Uh, and here are a few endpoints. So uh, bear in mind, this is like an instruction tuned uh, model, which so you can chat freely with it. So here's the chat endpoint and here's the completion endpoint. So how to use it? So all you have to do is uh, go to Lee chat, which happens to be Mistral's uh, version of GPT. So here you might see that you have access to particular models, large, next, small, and cadastral. So here we go. So let's try it out with, let's warm it up with a few questions. Uh, write me a factorial code in Python. So that's what I was talking about. The speed is off the charts. So I've used Copilot in VS Code. I've used Amazon Q uh, 
uh, within VS Code. And one particular concern that I always had is like, they're a bit slow. They take their time in terms of completing code. But if somehow we can use Codestro within our, you know, uh, IDEs, it's going to be amazing with this kind of speed. I mean, let's let's go ahead and ask a few more questions. Write me a starter fast API code with a dummy around. All right. What about cores? Can you add them? And enter. All right. So it did pretty good. And that's correct. Nice. So let's see. Write me a chat app in React. Chat. Um, chat component code and react boom 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 so messages form submission pretty decent stuff here uh, awesome so far can you write me some tests so in terms of speed, I'm just loving it. It's so smooth. And it's, it's like, yeah, but you guys get it. You can just see it within your screens, like how fast this thing is. So awesome. All right. Uh, so it's trained on like a lot of languages. Like uh, if you want to check out, write me hello world program in assembly. And there you go. We have an assembly code for Hello World. Okay, rewrite it in Fortran. It's Fortran? It's Fortran. I guess it's Fortran. Hope I spelled it right. But here you go. Perfect. So uh, let's see. What do you know about React 19? Just want to check the knowledge cutoff here. Okay, no specific range, likely to reference. Okay, so it's not there yet, but good that it pointed out that it's like a future version of it. So as of time of writing, the latest stable version is 18.2.0. All right, correct. So this is Codestral, and this can be your new buddy within your while writing code. Uh, no matter if you're a developer, if you're an architect, this is like cool stuff, especially with this kind of speed. Imagine uh, building stuff that took you longer than two hours. But this here, with the help of your new buddy, you can just do it in a snap of your finger. It's kind of amazing. I mean, uh, every week AI surprises me, these LLM surprises me, and that's the best part uh, about riding the wave. It's pretty cool. So yeah, that's it for this video. I'll come back with more videos about Codestral and how we can leverage it because it has sort of impressed me. It sort of caught my eye and I really want to use it while, you know, uh, building stuff at work. So yeah. So I'll see you in the next one. Take care till then.